And when I drag from this button over the video, you can see this menu shows up. Those are all the slots that are compatible with this button source. So I can connect this button to play. <coughs> I can connect this other button to toggle play. Right. So, so these are actually turning into JavaFX binds. There's no, I mean, this isn't like a special API just for the tool. You know, in some sense, the special API for the tool is FX. Yeah, we actually, what we just did now, we edited script slots right. to actually execute button handlers. After this, I'll show you value binding. So let's just first test this. So there's no edit compile debug here. Well, maybe debug, but there's no compilation because this code is always just running in the tool. We have live editing. So all I have to do is switch to the play cursor or just hold the Alt key, and I can actually click these buttons to execute the scripts that we just wrote. So when I do that, you can see the video plays. So that's sort of event slot hookup. We can also do real value binding. So if I drag the slider onto the stage here, and uh, let me line it up. So you can see we have visual guidelines to help us get this looking right. <coughs> now I can take the slider, and I can bind its value to the current time of the media clip. And I also need to bind the maximum value of the slider to the duration of the video clip. And now if I play this again, you can see the slider moves. Right, so that's, that's value binding, and it's, there's nothing particular about media for this. You could do this, any kind of more complicated uh, combination of these things. And in, the, and in this case, it's bidirectional, right? Yes. So if I add a, uh, for example, a checkbox here, I can, I can bind any two slots. So if I hold the shift key here, I can bind, for example, the strong property of this button, which is like an armed state. I can bind that to, let's say, the, and that's a Boolean slot. Now I see all the target Boolean states that this target object is exposing. So I'm going to hook it up to the selected state of the checkbox. Now if I play click this checkbox, you can see the armed state of the new control animates into blue, which is what the new controls do. And so that's you know a Boolean value. Let's do a, a numeric value. I can bind the opacity of the video clip to the slider value over here. And we also need to set the max property. So now you can see the video disappeared because it has you know, zero opacity. If I drag the slider, you can see I'm controlling the opacity of that arbitrary other variable. So that's visual binding. It's amazing what you can do with a little, little, little uh, introspection in the scene graph. Yes, absolutely. And so, so that, that was